So tell us the question again. You were saying, does it mean that I'm not? Yeah, um, um, am I not the mind then? Ah. I think I said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's something like that you said. Well, I start to get in, in, in an inquiry about that these few days. Or should we disassociate the body with the mind? It's another good question. I have the answers, or at least my answers, or the answers. Yeah. I have answers from like spiritual texts, which I believe are true, from experience and practice. Should I give you the answer? I don't know. The suspense is kind of fun, though. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Am I my thoughts? Am I my mind? Am I my thinking? Or am I the soul? <laughs> am I the soul? Yeah. So the question is, who are you? Day one, <laughs> after lunch. Yeah. Why wait? Shall I tell you? We are the divine. Uh-huh. What does that the, mean, the, though? We keep saying we are the, the divine light. Yeah. So if I'm the soul, I'm going to join with the ultimate soul. Yeah. But who is the ultimate soul? Exactly. <laughs> well, it's just a one question leads to another. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll share with you... Um, yeah, maybe just leave it with him for a second. I'll share with you, and, and we'll come back to you as well. I haven't forgotten about you. This is good because your conversation is opening up more conversations and they're all useful, powerful conversations. In the yoga scriptures and actually in most spiritual texts, and I haven't read them all obviously, um, but whatever I've seen and experienced, and then my experience of working with people over the years as well, is that, well, are we our thoughts? <laughs> uh, in the Yoga Sutras, Patanjali talks about just in like the first chapter, and straight into the second sutra, it starts talking about, uh, and, and you may know this because I think you're from a yoga background, is that right? Chitta vritti niroda, which means the fluctuations of the mind, the cessations of the fluctuations of the mind, which means to cease, to stop the fluctuations of the mind. But it's actually not to stop the mind, and it's not to disassociate either, because, you know, we disassociate from our bodies, we disassociate. But to realize that we are not our thoughts. Thoughts are there, thinking happens, but you're not your thoughts. And if, if there is an awareness of the thoughts, then surely you're not the thought. If that makes sense. Like if there's an awareness of the thought and the thinking, then surely you're not the thought. Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah. Have I lost anyone? I've lost you a little bit. If, if there is an awareness, as in like a consciousness, an awareness that, that there's thoughts happening, there's a voice in the head, or there's a thinking process happening, then something is observing the thinking happening. Does that make sense? It's like, Whose voice is that <laughs> in our heads? So if we are watching that voice or the thought, then surely we're not that thought. 